The Advent 2 theme is peace. Peace is more than the absence of conflict. It is building or restoring right relationship. God invites us to choose the path where love makes a way. If you were able, you could light a candle today, committing yourself to work for peace. Come, 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 all who are weary. Come, 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 you heavy laden. Take my yoke, for it is easy. Feel my burden rest ever so lightly. For I am gentle and humble And you will find rest for your souls I am gentle and humble And you will find rest for your souls Come, 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 all who are weary. Come, 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 you heavy laden. Take my yoke, for it is easy. And you will find rest for your soul. This week in Gathered Worship, we will share in the Eucharist, the Lord's Supper, or as it's sometimes known, Communion. All words describing the same meal with a subtly different message. Folks, we are invited to gather at a table, any table. We are invited to share food together and in the breaking of bread and the sharing of a beverage to remember Jesus and the stories he shared in his life, particularly with his own followers. This is offered to us as a gift where we are invited to eat, drink, remember and retell. You can do that at any meal table. I'm not asking you to pretend that you're sharing in communion. I'm inviting you to understand that the invitation to any meal is an invitation to pause and reflect. What does this story mean to you? Who is Jesus to you? Who is God calling you to be? We are tired, oh, we are weary, but don't say that you're worn out. Step down your chair, till only faith remains. Sit down your chair, 
15th year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, when Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea, Herod, tetrarch of Galilee, his brother Philip, tetrarch of Ituria and Trachonitis, and Lysanias, tetrarch of Abilene, during the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas, the word of God came to John, son of Zechariah, in the wilderness. He went into all the country around the Jordan, preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins, as it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah the prophet. A voice of one calling in the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord, make straight paths for him, every valley shall be filled in, every mountain and hill made low. The crooked roads shall become straight the rough ways smooth, and all people will see God's salvation. The word of God came to John, son of Zechariah, in the wilderness. He went into all the region around Jordan, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. We're edging closer the story of John who baptised in the desert. What words would you use to describe the John the Baptist that you've heard about? Can you think of anyone of similar personality or place or role today? What's his story? What is the danger 
in domesticating the story of John and turning it into a cardboard cutout nativity in the way we sometimes do with the rest of the Christmas story. Wild, weird, prophetic, offering words for community despite the individual nature of baptism as a symbol. Words calling people back to Yahweh and to the values of God. Today's story is a deeply political story, as in it's the announcement of the coming of the Messiah made by the promised messenger, the voice of one crying out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. It happens at a particular time and context in history. As you heard the story narrated, you heard who was emperor, who was district governor, who was in power, placing it in that time and place. The writer places this, this story within the reign of the emperor, yet announces the rule and reign of God through the preaching of one who comes to announce the one who is yet to come, through whom all flesh shall see the salvation of God. Jim Wallace from the Sojourners Christian Community in Washington reminds us that Advent is a time for doing the work of preparing our hearts for what it means that God came and lived as one of us in a world that needed and needs to be changed. What is it about the world in which you live that you know needs to change? What's going awry? I'm talking about big picture, politics, peace. But I'm also talking about our society and our values and what people value and how that experience has changed over recent decades and where it leaves us as a society. In his book, Keep Christianity Weird, Michael Frost says, Jesus is different. Go and do likewise. Be eccentric, off-centre, unique, different. Not conform to the patterns of this world, but transform by the renewing of your minds. Be weird Christians. And this is more than making different choices. It's more than making others feel less worthy. It's more than a religious discrimination bill. It's more than inheriting eternal life. It's making ethical and moral decisions, forming relationships and community around a set of values shaped by God, espoused by the prophets, lived and taught by Jesus. It is about listening more than talking, suspending judgment, seeking honesty, making ourselves vulnerable, knowing we can do nothing in our own strength and so we're invited to worship, pray, study, learn and live out the story of Jesus, asking forgiveness when we fail, retaking our aim, offering humility, service, grace and compassion to all we meet, including different life stories, cultures, faiths, jobs, values and lives. Spend time this week asking God to give you love to share with others. Love our neighbour, remembering that our neighbour is anyone who is different to us.
your hearts lift up the deepest places within you your deepest desires your needs your passions your disappointments however you find yourself the lord is with you is with you. Oh 
our Father in heaven. Hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day. Our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not in temptation. Deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. Born to set thy peace. 